Be sure the roof surface is clean, free of dust, dirt, rust, oil, grease and loose materials. The roof surface must be dry, this product will not adhere to wet surfaces. Install a drip batten wherever a gutter is present. This will extend the roof deck so that water runoff drips into the gutter rather than behind the gutter. The drip trim has a front and back piece. Install the back drip trim using the nails provided. Align the curved top edge of the trim with the timber batten. Allow time for the rubber membrane to relax in position for 30 minutes. Fold the rubber membrane back to expose half of the roof deck. Apply water-based deck adhesive using a medium pile roller. Leave a 150mm unbonded area around the roof deck perimeter for bonding later with contact adhesive. Roll the EPDM membrane back into position immediately whilst the adhesive is still wet. If the adhesive drives out and becomes opaque before the membrane is relayed, Apply a thin coat to the back of the membrane and allow to dry before installing. Applying adhesive to a smaller area in hot weather to avoid premature drying. Water-based adhesive should only be used when the outside temperature is 4 degrees and rising and no chance of freezing conditions in the following 24 to 48 hours. Sweep the EPDM membrane to remove trapped air and improve bonding to substrate. Apply a thin coat of contact adhesive to the roof deck perimeter, approximately 150mm width, and any vertical upstands. Also apply the contact adhesive to the back of the rubber membrane. Contact adhesive can also be used to bond the rubber membrane to most porous and non-porous surfaces, so it can be used in place of water-based deck adhesive if necessary. Ensure the contact adhesive is touch dry and there are no puddles of adhesive. The contact adhesive gives off a vapour as it cures. If the membrane is bonded before the contact adhesive has fully dried, bubbles or blisters may appear. These bubbles should disappear within 24 to 72 hours due to the EPDM membrane being partially breathable. The membrane can be folded without cutting when detailing an external roof corner prior to installing edge trims. Pinch the rubber membrane together to form a pig's ear. Place the quick trim corner in position applying pressure to squash the foam sealer and nail the poly pins into fascia and batten. The quick trim curb edge is designed to deflect water back onto the roof. Traditionally this would have been achieved with an Aris rail. Cut the curb edge trim to length and apply pressure to the top of the trim and then poly pin to secure. The foam should be compressed by 70 to 80%. Snap the jointing clips provided into position. Fit the quick trim drip or gutter front trim using poly pins provided and install jointing clips where necessary. Trim the excess rubber membrane with a sharp knife or scissors, taking care not to score the fascia or gutter beneath. The complete rubber roof has a life expectancy of 50 plus years and will require very little maintenance throughout its life. Please feel free to contact us if we can improve our online training resources in any way.